same name for new video too, because I'm lazy. I don't want to type something else in. So, going back to loading uh, level the level two guy in that same area. And then we'll load the level 236 character and see what that does in this area. That level 236 character will have the mods turned on, but that character has never had the mods turned on before. So it is, um, it's the vanilla gameplay character. So either it's so that's that will tell us if it is the mods or if it's the turning on and off of mods that does it or if it's the level that does it. All right, so this is that this is that same area of that was causing problems before. I didn't even get to over here from here. This is where it started to crash. And I had to turn around. Right, Cuz he's got a ring of speed on. I'm a level three character now I'm I, I I modded myself so look at that my um look at me I'm almost invulnerable because of this super ring something or other there now I'm not gonna run like a crazy person anymore all right so now let's load up the character that is not modded. Oh, hang on. Load. Go down to... Here we go. Level 236. Eh, kind of god mode-ish. Yeah. Attack of the Fifth Man. Fifth Man. Fifth Man. Fight for life. Well, they can't play Aquaman. Actually, technically, that's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Which is... Oh, crap. Oh, well. This is my, um... Vanilla Gameplay's, um... Sanctuary... Uh, castle. Woohoo! All right, so let's fast travel to some place where I know I'm going to be okay. Yeah. Actually, to me it looks the same, slightly. You know, except just with different types of floors. Because I put a bar in the same spot. Um, beds are in the same spot. I just did with what, what, what worked.
Yeah, I don't have to defend Starlight Driving in this game. Yeah, I wound up killing all those um, people on my vanilla gameplay. On the 169 level, this is where I started to cra it starts to crash. It's tight, but not as tight. I mean, you still see, you're still seeing some frame rate, a little bit of problems. Actually, not that bad. That's normal for that area. That was weird. So it's that whole save file. I've used, I've turned too many mods on and off on that save file. But this is what happens with this. This one, watch. This is what's funny about this one. If they are respawning, because at some point in time, they stop respawning. They stopped respawning on this game, on this save file. But you know, the, the death claws that are over there, the, um, uh, the behemoth, um, there's supposed to be five death claws, the behemoth, and plus some random encounters with, uh, um, feral ghouls. Uh, there should be feral ghouls up here. But they have not respawned. There should be five, and there's only three. And then there's supposed to be two below me right now, but those have not respawned. Because I never used to go up there and take care of those three, so that's why they have respawned. Are they there? I 
And these raiders have stopped respawning. And if you head up the hill... There's always an encounter here of some sort. There's always supposed to be there's always supposed to be a death claw down this road. But they have not respawned. There's supposed to be a behemoth up here and two death claws. Actually one death claw up here, one down there. They have not respawned. But when they did, just before they stopped respawning, they would respawn as ragdolls. Um, alive, but just in a heap on the floor. They must be taking a long break because they're, none of them have shown up. They're all gone. This is my vanilla armor. Ha! Ah. Actually, it's my vanilla chameleon armor, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's my chameleon armor. I wish there was a John Code Jeans mod. What? What's John Code Jeans mod? Junko jeans. If this Fallon's department store isn't cleared out, this is a perfect example of the, um, what I was going to tell you about the ragdoll problem in a long playing game. Here is one. Look at this. He's a rag doll. The mutant suicider is alive right there. He's a level 22, but he's not moving. There's another one. There's one that's alive. I mean, they're they are they're alive. Jane Co. It's a jean company that was huge in the 90s. Huge back pockets and super wide bottoms. <laughs> wide bottoms. Sounds like my sister-in-law. And actually, it sounds like my, 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 my... One of my friends. Anyway. Um... So these guys are alive.
He's level 236. Just sitting there, not moving. Same with that guy. Yeah, they're sleeping. Got it. So, two of the suiciders are sleeping. For fuck's sake. I have a mod that makes the Minutemen more beefier. And they all have um, armored clothing on and shit. Kind of like it. I hate the other ones that turn them to turn change their clothes around. That's one of my robot settle, uh, robot um, suppliers supplies. It's two of my robot supply guys. That's hilarious. Oh, see, this one's a ragdoll. Speaking of sleeping, I have I have a weird question about settlers. Have you noticed some sleep with their eyes open and while others sleep with their eyes shut? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's like this guy. Hang on a second. Uh, where's do I have one? So this is guy is a rag doll. He's alive. His eyes are blinking. They're moving. <laughs> he 
He wants to say something to me. Are you angry? You're angry now. You got that angry face going. <laughs> so, uh, this is what I'm saying. So this is what happens when you're... This happened in my vanilla game. No mods, no nothing. So this isn't a mod problem. This is the game doesn't want you to get to level 236. The game starts breaking down after a while, naturally. What you doing? You trying to get my attention? Puppies don't need attention. All right, hang on a second, real quick. Hang on. Did you burp? Did you come here? I've never had the companion swim everywhere glitch. That's a glitch that I heard about that happens in Skyrim. Come here. Which is another Bethesda winner. Evidently. Come here. He's gonna I'm gonna go to being hidden soon and I'll pickpocket him, take his sunglasses off of him, and then um Cause that's funny. Yes, Starlight Drive-In defended itself. Of course it did. The breaststroke of front off the ground. Literally. Oh, he's already seen me. This item's too ca heavy to carry heavy to carry. Think I can knock his glasses off of him? Or just kill him in one shot, evidently. I can sit on the chair now. So there's two other guys that are up here. If we go around the corner and this guy is just sitting here. Yep. He's alive. Here's another one.
This is not fixed. This is Bethesda saying fuck you to uh, people that play its games. You see how many times I kill these people up here, but I'd never grab their weapons? Ouch. Because this is level 230 whatever. The only mod that I have on my character right now is the jetpack. Just want to point that out. This is how. This is why I'm used to playing this game like this. Is because I, you know, I got leveled up and I just got so used to being a high level that may meant you were invulnerable. You would think. There we go. Have you guys ever seen my vault? So I think it's pointless to continue on that other save at all, except just to figure out how to build the last thing I'm building. How can a rad roach be legendary? It's pathetic in battle, and a normal behemoth can fuck you up. I know what you mean. Ask the same time, same questions every time in confession.
Ugh. This is what you get when you overbuild a vault. You too, lady. I didn't let any of them die. I liked them. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. There he is. I wonder if I can ask him to get out of his power. Oh, yeah, he loves me now. Dance? Ready to continue our mission, soldier? That depends. How are you feeling? I'm prepared to take on whatever the Commonwealth throws at us. Uh-huh. Especially if I have you by my side. Ooh. When you're ready to go, I'm right there with you. Oh, baby. Ready. Roger that. Hey. Ready. Paladin dance. If something's wrong, I want to know. Your thoughts? If I lost you, I don't know what I'd do. Your thoughts? Doesn't it feel good to be a part of something as important as the Brotherhood? But they don't like you no more. Your thoughts? I'm pleased we were assigned to the same team. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Your thoughts? Remember, we're out here representing the Brotherhood. Let's make them proud. Yeah, but you're not part of the Brotherhood anymore. Anyway, well, I'll be back in like 15 minutes. I'm and I'll start. I'm gonna start building again because I at least want to figure out what, how to build what I'm building. I guess. I'd appreciate it if you said something. Yeah, me too, Dance. Me too. Be back in a few, 15 minutes after I have dinner. <laughs> 